Okay, and we're back. You know, I think I could have actually tweaked the simulation by changing the pro the pro the uh, processor profile in DOSBox, which is what uh, good old games uses. They've actually updated their the game itself, by the way. A lot of people were having problems with the setup function. There was a, an executable put in there to help to adjust, to help adjust the game, and it actually wasn't working properly. However, they've changed that and they've addressed that issue. They've also recently updated games uh, like uh, I think Total Annihilation, which is a very old title. From the the, uh, the makers of Supreme Commander. Good stuff. I know you don't care, but I'm telling you anyway. So buy from good old games. I don't get anything, but just do it. This place is good. Oh wait, what'd it say? Oh no, it's gonna make me go back up there and get the blade. Oh, what a nightmare. This game is rough. What did it say? I guess it, it took it out of my inventory, that's for sure. So, I, it must be up there. I, it's probably just not going to appear properly until I have the blade connected to it. Slow down. Alright, I'm saving. Because I'm scared. Yeah. Probably don't need to save so much. I think he's gonna fucking kill me. That is a trick to getting him off balance. Oh, I'm dead. Oh! This fucking game! Yeah, shake me again, please. <coughs> I should just blitz right in there. Why was there a pirate in there? I don't even remember. Yeah, just drag me. Just, just, yeah. A little faster, though. I guess so. <laughs> it depended on me to save the world, the game. How am I even hitting him over there? Okay, you're gonna die. Oh no! Wow, I need more HP, man. This sucks. Alright, I'm skipping this. Fuck, no! Alright, whatever. Yeah, fuck you. I'll wait for that again. Can I do... Okay, yeah, I have that, that attack. Or that block. I think that's what it is. Parry. I think you have to kill him with the sword. I don't know why I think that, but... Something else. Go out and kill that zombie and get the other side of that blade. If 
Find some more fucking health. Yeah, I think there is more health upstairs. I'll just go do that. It's apparently I'm not very good with this. Oh wait, can I go to the library yet? It's locked. I have a key. It is still very locked. I want the key. Help me! And this key does not want to do its this keyness. Yeah, as far as I recall, there's nothing in this room of importance. So I'm gonna go to this one. Run in there. I'm gonna see if I can't kill this bastard. Oh! No! 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 Get out of my goddamn bathtub! No. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think the only thing you can do is just like hope to knock him senseless and then run like hell. Alright. Let's see if I can't light him on fire or something. Come on. I'm not gonna throw the lamp at him. Be a very bad idea. Okay. Ah. I, could, I guess I could go fight the creature and then grab the weird shit. Oh, wow, that was a lot. That was a lot more than I thought it would be. Throw. Fuck out of here. You too. I still have bullets, right? What does this go to? That's the revolver. I don't, I don't know if I need that the rifle anymore. I couldn't think of it. I don't think you do get ammo for it. No, you, you got to. I don't think it's rifle ammo, or revolver ammo from this point on. Alright, anyway. Yeah, I don't think there's shit in here. Nothing fucking important ever in this game. Holy shit, you just come right out of nowhere. No attempt to even have you jump through a window. Yeah, please don't rape me this time. Oh shit! Alright, this head just. You gotta be a little. One point of damage for that big old, like, big old rat mouth. Okay. Fuck. Wow, okay, what is this? What's. What? What? That's it? Oh, come on, I know there's some fucking ammo in here. Oh, shut up, dude. I took one point of damage for nothing. Come on, there's ammo in here. Oh, this game. I'm still wondering what that sound effect is supposed to indicate. If it indicates anything at all. Fuck me, I thought there were fucking revolver ammo. There's revolver ammo in here. I could have sworn in the 3D version there was. Run! Damn it! Run! Go! 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 Oh my god, run! Yeah, so how was he gonna carry the piano again? Oh yeah, book. Actually, yeah, well, whatever. It's a fake book. Okay. Memories? It was during a yeah, okay. 
Yeah, shut up. Nobody likes you. Oh, I fell on my feet. I hate it when it does that. How is the book as heavy as that statue? Diary of Jeremy Hartwood. Oh, this is going to be a long one. September 27th, 1924. I have decided to keep this diary. Too many inexplicable events have taken place recently. Never have dreams so haunted my every waking moment. <laughs> Perhaps my romantic mind was too dull and has only now woken up to these new paths and visions. Some, seeing my recent paintings, may question my sanity. I can only ask them, what is sanity? Where does madness begin? September 28, 1924. The night is pitch black. I am again drenched in sweat. I was wandering in the dunes, among giant standing stones. They were arranged in a circle and the wind whistled about them. I plunged my hand into the soil and felt that repulsive thing which was trying to catch me. It seized me. I struggled to break free of its loathsome embrace and managed to tear my hand away. It was covered in sticky substance. I was gripping a knife. October 5th, 1924. The stone circle is a pentacle. Der Seto's library is filled with books on the occult. I will study those books until I find some explanation for the dreams. The visions that haunt me must be connected to my discoveries. I shall have to undertake a profound exploration of my dreams. December 16th. Dear God, I have found the knife. It was hidden here. And what I have learned fills me with apprehension. It is a sacrificial dagger belonging to some unholy cult. The thought of that blade tearing through human flesh horrifies me. Yet I must continue my research. Der Seto is a storehouse of treasures. Was my father right after all? January 23rd. I spend all my days plunged in dusty books. The servants are convinced I am mad. At night, I awaken them with my screams. The dreams are draining what sanity I still have. I have tried staying awake, but in vain. My visions have changed. No doubt the influence of my father's research. February 7th, 1925. The Dark Man, that is what I call him, has revealed his true face to me. He appeared, as usual, near the fireplace. But this time, he approached me. His terrible smile will haunt me to my dying day. His breath was ice and his burning eyes froze me. I could not move. I know, as surely as I have ever known anything, that the face I saw, the face that has turned my nights into hellish torture, is the mask of death. March 10th. My exhaustion is beyond description. The endless reading burns my eyes. It seems that pirates frequented the area. Dr. Herbert insists I keep to my bed. I have moved to another bedroom and sleep much better now. The dark man has not gone, however. I know it. He will wait for as long as he must. Unless I, Jeremy Hartwood, can find a way to send him back to whatever hell he comes from. March 11th. My poor knowledge of Greek and Latin is a serious handicap to my reading. I have, nevertheless, made a great step forward. I drew the symbol on the floor. He can no longer go there. I want him to understand that I can do the same thing in my bedroom. I can imagine his rage and frustration. Only last night, he found his way back into my dreams. March 13th. The translation will seriously dent what money I have left. I cannot paint. 
My pictures are clearly the work of a lunatic. The collector Thornhill's embarrassed smile was proof of that. March 29th. He has come back. He found the door to my dreams. I am too weary to attempt any defense. I have no strength left to fight, and he knows it. He considers me dead already. Could I possibly? March 30th. How ironic! The cave my father sought for so many years is here! Beneath the house! Wait, the butler discovered a crack in the cellar wall. A breeze blows in through it, icy and repugnant. I am filled with horror at the thought of my father dying in this place. I will carry to my grave the vision of his face contorted in the agony of that fatal heart attack. His body was twisted. He had webs. His fingernails were torn and bloody from scrabbling at the floor. Dr. Gray concluded that death had been due to a heart attack. It was Waits, who some time later was informed that my poor father had in fact bitten off his tongue and choked on his own blood. So? March 31st. I explored the caverns in a dream. The dark man came with me. Strangely, I felt almost well. How can I describe what I saw? No. What words are capable of explaining such evil? Oh my god. I realized that my death was of no interest to him. The dark man wants something else. He seeks a body. His avid servants are now free. I am the cause. <laughs> it is almost funny. No. Oh. Well, yeah, well, this is not funny. A curse is on their seto. From the foundations to the very rooftop. I can no longer struggle, let alone eradicate the evil that grips the house. The end is very near, I can feel it. I have taken the decision to... <laughs> May he who finds this diary pray for my soul. Oh, I yeah, so I'll pray for the end. Thank God it's here. Alright, next time, I will go a little further.